वेलकम टू कॉन्फ्लिक्ट न्यूज 24 कंटिन्यूइंग आवर कवरेज ऑफ ईस्ट कॉन्गो कॉन्फ्लिक्ट वी हैव सेवल अपडेट्स फॉर यू फर्स्टली कैनियन ट्रॉप्स वर सीन टुडे डिप्लॉयड इन ईस्टर्न कॉन्गो वेयर आर कैनियन ट्रॉप्स आर दे इन गोमा और आर दे नियर केबुम्बा व्हिच इज द फ्रंट लाइन between FARDC and uh, M23 fighters pictures of uh, uh, canyon troops are being shared we have details for you about the location of the pictures secondly william ruto canyon president was in drc today there a journalist asked a question what is the mandate of canyon troops in drc is the deployment defensive or offensive or just peacekeeping what did he say thirdly nairobi talks uh, uh, which were uh, due to be held uh, this week uh, have been postponed nairobi talks uh, with participation of east africa community leaders have been postponed and in luanda angola meeting between DRC president Felix Tshisekedi and Paul Kagame president of Rwanda uh, has also been postponed for the next two days uh, reportedly firstly viewers uh, Kenyan troops Kenya has deployed its troops uh, to Congo Kenyan peacekeepers were already uh, deployed to Congo uh, Kenyan peacekeepers are part of uh, UN peacekeeping force but uh, a few weeks ago East Africa community countries decided to form East Africa regional force to defend uh, Congo's uh, territories from M23 fighters advance M23 fighters are advancing towards Goma city they have captured Choro city Kivanja uh, Rugari they are in Kibumba uh, after the announcement uh, we saw that the Kenyan troops arrived in DRC i shared some uh, pictures with you when Kenyan troops arrived in Goma city an esc commander uh, in charge of esc force in goma uh, is also kenyan where are kenyan troops now are they in goma or are they in kabumba where there is fighting between fardc and uh, m23 so there was a relative calm in kabumba today uh, some pictures of kenyan soldiers are being shared Uh, and uh, pro fardc sources claim that the pictures are from kibumba front that kdf troops are in kibumba but uh, the pics are not from kibumba uh, these are the pictures which are being shared the pictures show kenyan troops in east congo uh, the pictures are from kibati views reportedly kenyan troops are in kibati Uh, in kibati they are patrolling uh, uh, along with uh, fardc congolese uh, government uh, forces kibati is around 10 kilometers away from kibumba bahumba front line is near kibumba kibumba is split uh, there some parts of the grouping are under uh, M23 control, some under FARDC control. There is no KDF fighting on Kibumba front reportedly. Kenyan troops are at a distance, around 10 kilometers away from Kibumba uh, in Kibati. Kibati is very close to Goma. Question is, where is the red line for Kenyan troops? when 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 will kenyan troops and burundi's troops uh, and other eac countries troops uh, engage m23 fighters uh, kibati or goma a kenyan commander of eac 3 days ago said that uh, eac forces would defend goma so is goma red line is kibati red line 
Okay, Bombay is not red line because there is no EAC forces, uh, no Kenyan troops on Kabumba front. But so far, front line is near Kabumba. Kenyan troops are near Kibati reportedly. Secondly, William Ruto, a Kenyan president, was in Congo today. He held a joint press briefing with uh, Felix Tshisekedi, Congolese president. There a journalist asked a question about the mandate of Kenyan troops. Uh, what did William Ruto say? Did he make it clear that Kenyan troops would stop M23 fighters? Uh, he said that uh, ESC force is peace enforcement force in East Congo. Peace will be enforced on those who want to create instability. So he, he spoke in vague terms, I would say. Uh, when will this operation against those who want to create instability start? He did not uh, make it clear. Uh, in which areas uh, will the operation start uh, and uh, any red lines, no details. Uh, he used very diplomatic language uh, addressing the question raised by journalists. Take a listen to what he said. Uh, we would like to have clarification and explanation on the real mandate of the Kenyan troops in the DRC since we noticed that the recent statement of the Kenyan force had on the eastern part of the Congo raise a lot of concern. We would like to have more clarification on the Kenyan troops mandate in the DRC. The mandate of um, the East Africa Regional Force was agreed upon by the heads of state and was communicated to the Peace and Security Council of the AU and also communicated to the UN Security Council as a mandate to secure peace in Eastern DRC and to enforce peace on those who are hell-bent on creating instability and insecurity in Eastern DRC. We are acutely aware that we have many, keep, many peacekeeping troops in DRC. But from where we sit as a region, we do not think there is much peace to keep. And that is why it is necessary for a peace enforcement contingent under the East Africa Regional Force. That is the mandate upon which the Kenyan troops in the context of the East African Regional Force are operating. All the um, uh, operation issues have been agreed upon. The rules of engagement have been agreed upon. The rules of deployment have been agreed upon. And it is on that basis that Kenya uh, has deployed troops in Eastern DRC. Early words, while uh, several channels, diplomatic channels, are being adopted to find a solution to East Congo conflict, uh, but so far no considerable progress has been made. Nairobi talks have been postponed. Uh, later this week, talks were due to be held in Nairobi, Kenya, with participation of East Africa community uh, leaders. But talks have been postponed. No uh, new date has been announced. Secondly, in Luanda, uh, Angola, a meeting uh, is due to be held between Felix Tisakedi. Congolese President and Paul Kagame of Rwanda, Rwanda President. But the meeting has been postponed reportedly. Uh, the meeting was due to be held on Monday, I think, uh, today, and it has been postponed uh, till Thursday reportedly, though no official announcement. So, Luanda, 
Nairobi peace uh, processes are ongoing, but uh, uh, meetings are being postponed. Why? I think uh, what Kenyatta is doing uh, in collaboration with some other players uh, is the effort which is being uh, given priority by East Africa community leaders. That Kenyatta should be given a chance. Uh, and uh, he should involve uh, Paul Kagame, Falak Tasakadi, UN, other authorities, and the party should find uh, a solution. And parties should agree on some basic principles, then talks can be held. And Nairobi talks uh, will not be fruitful uh, if uh, M23 are not made part of talks. So far, uh, Congo's government is opposing participation of M23 fighters in Nairobi talks uh, due to be held hopefully in the coming days. That is why without participation of M23, there is no point in having talks in Nairobi, Kenya. That is why talks delayed uh, in Nairobi, Kenya. Kagame, Falak uh, Shakadi meeting delayed to Kenyatta is busy in the background. Uh, he is trying to engage Paul Kagame. He is trying to engage... Ugandan leadership uh, that they should uh, convince uh, M23 fighters to stop their military offensive towards Goma and towards other places in North Kivu zone of East Congo. Thank you for watching.